Cheers and welcome my friends. I'm Monotrak and we are playing Imperator Rome as Teutonia, the migratory tribe that is now controlling almost all of Darkia, apart from two provinces, which we will still get. So this is actually this is good. This is good. I like it. Uh, we're almost at the end with our um, strategy of just collecting more and more pops. Um, have these assimilated? No, no. Okay, well responsible for converting three pops in total like but isn't that enough then yeah maybe it isn't i don't know okay maybe it's just over the course of his whole life how many did our guy convert 262 his finesse has gone down from 10 to 6 though so the conversion chance is not that high anymore sadly Oh yeah, so we're building a bunch of fortresses to stop them from coming into our lands. We need to bump up the population over here. We need to put one of those 12 stacks in here to make that a, a double fortress area. Slaves of Bubali are revolting. Hell no. Hell no. Rebellion will be crushed. You guys are not allowed to rebel. Well, we show some leniency here, but... Not too much leniency, otherwise they will take it for a sign of weakness. Yeah, that high unrest is definitely not helping. But I mean, what more can I do? Super low taxes. I guess I can just go and produce national unrest as a whole. Okay, I guess. Um, yeah, we kind of want this as a fortress that is... Um, that is defending our area. I think this needs to be one as well. So two food levels here. We want two food levels in Dulem. Uh, no one can move past this. Entire province is disloyal, so yeah, it's going to take a while until we can do that. Well, I'm kind of feeling like this might already be fine as a fortress. I mean, we could fortify this one here too, if we wanted to. Okay, I definitely want to fortify this one. So, I guess we still have a couple of places that we have to, like, plug with migrants right now. Let's bring the fort maintenance down for now. Wages are super high, but that is that is helping us just keep our empire stable, so I'm not too worried about this. The tribal champion. We'll use oratory power to make this guy happy. Likely the next tribal chief. Hmm. Doesn't have a victory. He's losing loyalty. I guess we have to. I resent it, but oh well. There's not much I can do about it. I really hope this province reaches a decent uh, loyalty point so I can start fortifying it. Yeah, that will probably be the upside of this. I can definitely fortify this one. We're not going to go past level 2 um, in our fortification efforts. Is Odrizia Hellenistic? Yeah, they are. They're a settled tribe, but they have Greek traditions. Interesting. So we have most of these guys, actually. Ethian Civil War ends. Okay, is Gitia now my tributary again? Yeah, they are. Awesome. Okay, good. These guys want to march through my lands. I'll allow it for now. Oh, they're fighting Rome! <laughs> okay, then. Um, <clears throat> maybe we should dogpile them?
I mean, this guy's gonna, gonna have their hands full. Duria, Teutonia. I kind of want to. I have a truce with the Tegete, which is the only real problem here for me. The big problem is if you if they like catch one of your fortresses while they're being built, you actually lose the whole investment. That was something that existed in EU4. Um, and it's something that is probably gonna annoy me greatly. If we actually do lose one of those. Let's just check the web of alliances again, so. These guys, these guys, these guys are Kuniata. So they... Uh, Dalmatia is the ally over here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Bring these guys down, I think. How far are the barbarians up here? Three? That's not helpful. That's not helpful, but we need them down. I think we'll send this weaker tribe up here. Bring you down there. There's no supply limit for these guys, so actually boosting my border province is gonna come in quite helpful. Bring these guys down there. The war exhaustion is gonna be a problem, but I wanna control all of Dark here. The rest, meh. Who needs it? Yeah, Teutonian and Tuistic. Teutonian and Tuistic. Actually thinking about just um, packing up at least one of these guys. We're probably gonna lose the pops if we go to war right now. Man, Rome is being incredibly aggressive. What are you doing? So this is the Take Illyria Gracca. Score is Rome versus minus 12, Rome versus Abria. So they're fighting Abria. Duria, Valeria, Scudicia, Liburnia. Where's Abria? I think it's just weird that Rome gets all these free claims where they can just conquer to their heart's content. Oh, there it is. There's Abria. Well, give these guys, give these guys a thrashing, please. Totally up for that. If Rome wants to fight us, we like have the home advantage. Right? They are gonna have a very hard time because they can't reinforce all that well. All that kind of stuff is gonna fight against. Uh, it's gonna work against them. But it would be kind of nice. Maybe we can improve their their idea of us. Maybe. This guy's one military access. We have no reason for war, so we're basically gonna get no ticking war goal of any kind. Okay, well at least this has a supply limit of 22. Sixteen. This place has a supply limit of twenty-one. So does this. Hmm. Yeah. So we have to defend our fortresses, but I really want to make the most of it. These guys' um, armies are not going to be anywhere else. I could theoretically fabricate a claim, but am I interested that in that in any form or fashion? I think not. just start this. These guys are almost ready. Our tributaries won't join this one, but I think this is still gonna be good. Still gonna be okay. I'm kinda tempted to send a group over here to protect our German areas, but meh. Can't have everything. This guy's gotta stop. Now listen, uh, oh yeah, right, we actually want to go normal fort maintenance now. Our fort maintenance is going to go up quite a bit um, with all the new stuff that we've built, so be a little bit careful there. Um, yeah, right, declare war. No reason for war. 
other than that you are holding part of my territory here. You don't know it, but this is my territory, good man. Sir. Saltamatia, Duria, Arconiata. Oh, Arconiata is over here, right. Okay. And yeah, we'll send our big tribe in. These guys only have 16 cohorts, so that tribe should totally be able to overwhelm them. What is this? An exiled unit, uh, uh, unit of mercenaries. Okay. Sure. How many fortresses do these guys have? None? Oh, man. I mean, we didn't have any either, but at least I was trying to protect my country. Right? This is not... It's not ideal for them. It's not ideal. Uh, I don't think we really need to bring the big guns here. Bring them over here. So, at least we have zero attrition with that. We'll bring this tribe and we'll just use them for a bit of a sieging spree. So, considering this is not a problem, we'll just march these guys back up. It's just, should just be an opportunity to maybe get some slaves. Right, these guys want grain. Yeah, sure, we'll give you grain. I'm fine with that. Oh, listen. Damn it. Ah, oh, yeah, we can't catch these guys because they're cavalry. Oh well. It's okay. We don't need to catch you. Oh, let's check this. Yeah, they're only west of us, so there's no specific defense needed in the east. I'm so looking forward to this province actually being loyal again. Can we catch them? No, we can't. Okay then. Is that the capital? Yeah, okay. This will take us a while to siege down. It's only fort level one, but still. Uh, it's not a problem really. Okay, so it's good this year. That's attempt number one to get us expunged. Yay, slave to Sedava. Awesome. We actually have to do some slave redistribution from Sedava at some point. Um, every 13 slave pop will give us uh, an additional gemstone. So that's um, 5 times 50. So 65 is the threshold. 65, 78 is the next one. So 5 more slaves in here and we'll be looking good. Just always got to look at the growth, but I guess we can keep pushing this with just the granaries. Just build a granary every couple. If the civilization level goes up, we can also have more people in there, so that's going to be fine then. Um, yeah, we can just send these guys into Singadunum. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? I really think you're gonna destroy my armies here, bro, eh? Okay, this might be overkill, but... Better overkill than underkill, because the underkill leads to a loss. Okay. Let's send the... Let's send the cavalry out again. And these guys as well, we don't wanna... Don't want to overkill us ourselves with attrition. That would be bad. Overkilling anything else is fine. This is already at 7% now. These guys want horse. Gitia wants horse. Yeah. These guys are my tributary, so they can have horses. That's fine. Yeah, come at me. I'm going to wait until these guys locked in, then reinforce. Reinforce with horse. One pop died. Mm, is it safe to go down here? 
I mean, I'm helping Rome indirectly, so that's that's bad. But I mean, I want my country. I want my land. Okay, so they're locked in. Run. Okay, yeah, they, they got this. I'll just send these guys south. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good strategy. Just having... Just having a, a strong army behind the... Behind the smaller siege stacks. Looks, looks good. Um, supply map mode. Yeah, so this could actually carry the stack. Just gotta be a little bit careful here. We don't want to overtrition ourselves, but finding with uh, retinues is quite nice. You don't really have to care about the manpower at all. Well, it's gonna be difficult to deal with that. Why, why is Gitia running around over there? Ah, oh, they have another revolt. Guys! <laughs> they got revolt after revolt. They really should do something for their internal stability here. Okay, we have a loyal chief. One of our clan chiefs has proven to be one of our most loyal subjects time and again. We received a message from him where he offered his aid. This is a good opportunity to show the rest of the Teutonians how loyal he is and to benefit from it. If only more could follow his example. Yeah, we'll go oratory power for sure. For freaking sure. Okay. So look at this. I'll just come in, catch these guys unawares. So sorry to crush you. You picked the wrong strategy. Where are these guys going? Where's Yana? Don't really want to siege with these dudes. Okay, we won the siege of Aliska. Another slave pop for Sadava. Granary has been built. And we're at 76. We're almost at 78. I think we're gonna give everything above 78 to the surrounding provinces then. But I do like how this looks, right? I mean, there's Rome, 55.5 is 60, and then there's Slayer, so they have 118, right? And we have uh, 30, 36, 47, and the slaves. So yeah, we have more pops than, than Rome. This is the cradle of civilization. There's a lot over here in Polygonia, Macedonia, Secundia. What? I actually find the naming scheme of this. Oh no, yeah, this is the this is the province, Macedonia, Secundia. Macedon still exists in some shadow state of its former strength. Well, 500 pops. The border go is unbearable down here. Could you maybe clean that up? I very much appreciate just you cleaning up that border go. That would be nice. And this one, one pop died. I'm gonna catch that. That battle. Okay. So who's gonna who's gonna get this? 18th of April, 28th of April, 4th of May. I think we'll get in there. So these guys arrive 18th, these guys arrive 24th, which is fine. Okay, this actually looks like a battle that needs some help. Um, this could end in a rout. Uh, Tugertian civil war is at an end, that's fine by me. Why are you throwing all your forces towards me? Why don't you just... Why didn't you just fight Rome? So I guess this stack can survive everywhere now. Ooh, I can raise this city. I can also pillage it. The question is, what, what do I want? I mean, this does cost me nothing, right? So we'll just pillage it.
getting attacked by 6k here, so I'll just come in again. Meeting of the clans, our ruler is finally dead. Yay, this guy is the leader now. He has a lot of finesse. I love it. I'm gonna accept that situation. That's fine. Uh, we have a stability drop. We've gotta deal with that just real quick. Slaughter a pig for that. We have an unmarried ruler. Ooh, we can hold a triumph right away. His popularity is kind of low. Let's do it. That's a range of marriage. We need a young wench. The daughter of the ruler. Hmm. The daughter of the ruler. I think that is the previous ruler though, right? She doesn't have the name. Oh, whatever. A little bit of incest. Never hurt anyone. Learned that in Crusader Kings. I'm sure it's true here too. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get into this battle. This doesn't look like it's going our way. Wood. God damn it. Guys, this, we need to win this battle, I'm telling you. It's gonna be the decisive battle in this. Whoa, look at that. They're sending a lot of men into this. If it would just to take this, they are just about ready to reject that, so. I guess that's fine. This place is almost done being built. Oh, these are my soldiers now, right? Hmm. It's not ideal. But I'm gonna march them down. This might still be something that's worth doing. And then these dudes will bring two over here. Give them the bottleneck. Oh man, oh man, oh man. It looks like we're just about gonna eke a win out here. That's gonna be painful. We have to fall back a little. Re... 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 Um... Reform. Reconvene. Just running out for now. This is fine. This is fine. It's a strategic retreat. Have those all the time. Let's reorganize. Mm. Put them over here, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, if this were to finish, that would actually be quite nice. Could also just try to take them out of the war, but look at this. These guys are really pushing it. Ah. Desperation, minus three. I mean, still at war with Rome? Yeah, I mean, just think about it. Just think about it. Maybe Rome's the bigger threat. I know we Teutonians look scary, but we're not that scary. We're fine, in fact. Uh, let's see. I think we'll just take the heavies, and I think we'll get rid of the rest. Uh, just take the horse, the cavalry. Okay. Um, now, create a new unit. Consolidate the cohorts. Did that do anything? No, it didn't, but I can just get rid of that 205 one. Yep. Right. Okay. It's development. Is that guy still good? Yeah. At 8. He's fine. Uh, and this is also good. Primary, secondary, and the flanking cohorts are going to be the light cavalry. So we're just trying to get more men here. This all seems like the first phase of the building stuff has already been done. No one's taking these areas, which is good. And while we're fighting, we're still collecting more oratory power. So I'm okay with this too. 
Alright, the CG and all this stuff back. Listen, just give me that one province. I just want that one province. The rest, I don't care. Yeah, sure, buy my wood. We'll happily give you all the wood. Ooh, so they're trying to go through here. It's just some archers. I think we can go down there. That is a... What? Barbarians? No! Eh, uh, I mean, at least we got one fort level over here, but it apparently wasn't enough. That hurts. That hurts big time. But I don't think we can deal with the barbarians right now. Settle. Settling will disband the army, add them to the city they occupy as freemen pops of the barbarians' religion and culture. I could do that, for sure. Just settle there. Never tried it. Potential strength occupying our cities, present in our country. Sure. Welcome. So, we have some touristic Bustane. Bustane, eh? I guess. So, yeah, sure. I'm happy about that. So, we just sent some archers over here thinking, yo, we're totally gonna be able to siege that fort down, right? And from the looks of it, they might actually be able to. There's cavalry skirmish. So they unlock that, I guess, from their Greek traditions. Cavalry harasses and skirmishes rather than remain in formation. Can often be used as a tool to deny an entire flank to a hostile troop. Not sure why they're using cavalry skirmish with their archers, though, but far be it from me to question them. Lost some of the clan chief. This guy? Yeah, this guy. Okay, well, we're almost done sieging this. I guess I'm just going to disband that that army afterwards. Um, that means I have another retinue, I think. Yeah, okay, let's go reorganizing. Um, bring them over here. Hmm, that province is still slowly gaining loyalty again, but... Okay, I have 32k over here. They should probably tire of this soonish, I feel. 18 versus 40. Yeah, no, I need to take a lot more land to make this a thing. Okay, these guys are committed. Let's run. Just check the strategies here that we're using. Looks fine. I think we're gonna run these guys over here too. This is gonna be the decisive battle. And it looks like we're gonna lose the decisive battle. Oh, come on. They actually went for shock. They knew that I would go in development. That hurts. That hurts a whole lot. I mean, they're still losing real fast, though. That might just be due to our... to our composition. The mainly light infantry. Fucking hell. Tributary influx. There has recently been a large influx of Movensis traders and travelers visiting Sadava. As Movensis is under our protection, they have opened up and tied try to become more friendly and well known throughout our nation. As both sides are starting to see the benefits of this relationship, we should try to make a decision of what kind of limits we're going to set to their influence in Sadaba. Could go commercial boom. 
Could also gain more citizens. Oh yeah, awesome. Sure. Bring him. Yeah, we're winning this through sheer manpower strength. That's, that's kind of perverse, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, you can march through. Um. So yeah, we'll, we'll we'll go on the on the attack again. I don't want to waste all my manpower on this, but I feel like we kind of have to try and win a couple decisive battles here. Stop this. We'll bring these guys over here. Okay, yeah, I guess that was supposed to happen. We'll just consolidate as much as possible. Um, just give me that one province. Come on. You know you want to. I guess they're like. Ah, look at this dude's... Look at this dude's alliance. He doesn't have one. I guess we gotta fight him to the death. But all that's gonna happen... ...is that you get destroyed over and over again. I guess we go bottleneck here. Oh, really. I guess I gotta wait until they're actually locked in. Okay, now they're locked in. Go, go, go. Go for a local overweight. Oh, Didn't even need these guys. Okay, you can you can move over here. We'll send these guys force marching into the next province. Okay, we got a slave pop. I think we can also pillage this place. Because we're evil. Want grain, you can have grain. Give me that province. 31 to 32. I think it's going to happen next episode for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you join me for the next one. Bye-bye.